Jay Hiff, Stretford Paddock. I'm tired, Jay. <laughs> Manchester United nil. That might be the record of you interrupting me. Manchester United nil. Chelsea nil. You know who that is. I am actually tired, though. Yeah. Let's go back to what seemed like about a week ago. When you saw that team selection, did you think Ollie's being cautious here? No, I don't. I don't think I overreact to the team when they come out. I, I like to go, all right, let's see what the crack is. Yeah. My thoughts, I think I mentioned on the watch along as it started, is what, what's the intent? You play Dan James, okay. In my head, you go, we're going to let them have the ball. We're going to put it over at the top. Little puppy dog's going to chase it. Sound. Why is one matter on the pitch? Because that's not the same thing. If yeah. one matters on the pitch, this is a man that's coming inside, working in between two compact lines, looking to maybe link play up. You can't fucking do both. No. So that was my only issue. And that was my issue at Newcastle. I was like, oh, I like one matter in here because I'm expecting Newcastle to play a low, low block. They actually didn't play a low block against us, which is why we twatted them. But I didn't understand wh where's, that, where's Dan James running into when there's going to be nothing beyond. And, and that's why he was ineffective against Newcastle. Today, Chelsea, it was 50-50 possession. They, we didn't give them the ball. They didn't let us have the ball. It was it was a, a weird, scrappy battle in midfield. And I thought we needed more quality in the final third. We did bring Cavani on. Scores almost with his first touch. If only. Oh, mate. I'd have gone home. I'd be I'd on have the pitch. Left. I'd have left. drove to Old Trafford and got on the pitch. Lock my car. Yeah. <laughs> like, do that with the shoulders because it's pissing down. Um and I just thought United lacked in the final third a little bit today. Um, didn't have a lot of shots, about seven, maybe, something like seven. that. I mean, Mendy did a couple of saves. I think there was one in the first half from Marcus with his legs. In the second half, I think there was one from Juan Mata as well. I think that's the only thing he did in the first half, Juan Mata. Um, you know, on another day, we could be still here going, but it's only got his tactics right. But they weren't like, the Marcus one was a, a decent chance, but they weren't like clear-cut chances. You no. pointed out, we should be getting more. We should be having more clean we chances have had more because, because we're not getting them. Look, they weren't great. And I think they're happier with the the nil-nil than we are. Um, I think you said at the start of the watch along as well, actually, that this is the sort of game where both managers will go, I'll fucking take that. Yep. Because losing today would have been people losing their minds whichever direction lost. So nil-nil, move on. Not great, though, because United had an opportunity here to move above City. That's just. I know that it's like we should be like, oh, maybe, but that is pretty crackers. You're thinking how the badly our start has been. The fact that we would have won today, we go above City, you know, says everything the, you need the, to the know about the their season all as well. The place, and you know, this is about the time now when the league table is actually worth looking at. This this many games in is when you actually go all right, because like not one of them dickheads that goes, hey, top league, we played one game. Yeah, Sh shut up. No, no. Hey, hey, top league, we played two games. Like it's irrelevant until about six, seven games in, and this is the stage right now where you go starting now to look like a league table and it's starting to actually mean something um so it's it's annoying it's disappointing um you expect better um but maybe ollie would be pretty happy with a clean sheet um i don't know i'll ask you one final thing on this because there's not loads to talk about there's no point in trying to drag this out but a talking point as always will be paul Pogba. now this is yet another game he's not started how how long can we go? Well, this isn't fitness, is it? Really, this is tactical. And are you surprised at that? Because you, I, you know yeah. he is he is a star. He's yeah, one of I our am, best players. I am a little bit, and um, I think he got pushed out of the joint a little bit with Bruno coming in. Bruno being the guy goes, I'm a creator. Yeah, that's what I do. Where does Paul Pogba fit in that? Because we're not a good enough team where you can play. You know, your silver and De Bruyne. We ain't that good. We don't hold the ball that much. You probably need a little bit more of an industrious midfield. Hence why it was McTominay and Fred. If that had been Pogba with maybe McTominay, or I think Pogba, Matic, Bruno can work me. I think yeah. Matic is good enough to be able to cover the deficiencies of where Pogba's going to go away with affairs, fairies. Uh, and then he offers you something a little bit extra. Here's the thing. When you go, we'll go with McTominay and Fred. Forget about big switches. Forget about like cheeky little balls around the corner. So Oli made a decision to keep it tight today. Um, and maybe his decision was, we'll keep it tight, wait till they tire, give me half an hour with Pogba, Cavani, etc. on, maybe it'll work. And I think that was what he gambled on. And ultimately his gamble didn't pay off. But I didn't feel threatened by Chelsea at any stage during the game. I thought United dealt with everything. They, a formidable attack. 
a form in a very expensively assembled formidable attack with some fantastic players not a single threat to United I will ask you one final question because I did say this was going to be the fact that was going to be the final question this will be the I know you're, no well is that it's size of minutes no, because no, I know no. you're going to be taking a look at Harry Maguire for us on the channel soon what did you make of his performance today because he's a player that's been under the spotlight we get a clean sheet and there was an incident there with was it a penalty yeah, what did you make of what he did one yes it was a penalty um, and I'd be devoted if I was a Chelsea fan um, for but, many reasons, obviously. Yeah, for obvious loads of reasons. Uh, but I'm not a Chelsea fan, so fuck them. Um, for two, I didn't think he had a lot to do. Not at one point did they get in behind. No, I don't know because it was 50-50 on possession. We never really saw United push up with a high line. You never really saw us sit deep and defend. Strange one. You know, was there at any point you remember Chelsea going in behind? There was almost a point where Lindelof won. sort of pushed, I think, Havertz out wide, I think, if I remember. Well, it might be Vern, I get him confused there. But, but there it wasn't was a lot of it, was not there? Not a lot. No, so I, I don't think today tells you anything. Uh, and I'm gutted because it does actually fucking skew the video a little <laughs> bit. Uh, so might You'll to, make it work or we might hold off on it a little bit. might be another week before we do that video <laughs> uh, until the evidence stacks up where we want it to. Um, but I think, no, I don't think today was a conclusive game for him. In, in a positive or negative sense, it was very much like the whole result. Nil-nil, 50% possession, not enough shots, just completely on a knife edge. Might as well not fucking bothered playing it because nothing happened. No one came out of it. <laughs> no, no, one, no one's reputation is enhanced or decreased. It was, it was the most down-the-middle, purgatory, bullshit, waste of everybody's time I have ever seen. Why don't we just... Do you know what? Maybe an MLS has got it right. Maybe it should be fucking, uh, what are they called? Sudden death penalties at the end of every game. <laughs> Sudden death penalties at the end of every game. There you go. You heard it here from Stephen Howson. I've been Jay. That's been State. This has been Stretford Paddock. Don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.